The most important sacred sites in the Indian subcontinent are located between the central Himalayas and the Gangetic Plain. This holy land, anciently known as Madhya Desha, encompasses modern-day Nepal, Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Sikkim. The northern edge of Madhya Desha boasts some of the highest mountains in the world. The lower Himalayan range and the Shiwalik Hills form a sort of buffer zone between the Himalayan peaks and the wide plain lying to the south. The Holy Ganges River rises in Uttarakhand and flows right through Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. It is personified and venerated as Mother Goddess Ganga. Rare long-snouted animals swim in the river, such as the gharial and river dolphin. The earliest inhabitants of Madhya were the Dravidians, whose last descendants are known as the Oraon tribe. By about 3000 BCE, Sino-Tibetan people had settled the mountains of Nepal and Sikkim while Indo-Aryans had occupied the whole Gangetic Plain. Vishnu's two most worshipped avatars were born in this region in the 4th millennium BC. Specifically, Rama was a native of Ayodhya, while Krishna hailed from Mathura, both in today's Uttar Pradesh. The Kurukshetra War, as described in the Hindu epic poem Mahabharata, arose from a dynastic struggle for the throne of Hastinapur in Uttar Pradesh. Krishna's philosophical conversation with his friend and cousin Arjuna later became known as the famous Bhagavad Gita, the holy book of Vaishnavism. Before he died in 3102 BC, Krishna prophesied that his motherland would soon face a slow but inexorable process of decadence and societal collapse, referred to as the Kali Yuga. Madhya Desha became fragmented into 16 oligarchies known as Janapadas, the most powerful of which was the Panchala Kingdom. A new philosophical trend called Nastika opposed the Astika Vedic religion. Nastika sects had become widespread in Bihar by the 6th century BCE, the oldest of which were the Charvaka and the Jain movements. Born in Bihar in 599 BCE, Vardhamana Mahavira was the supreme preceptor of the Jain school while his contemporary Ajita Kesakambali was the founder of the Charvaka school. However, their fame was soon overshadowed by that of Siddhartha Gautama, born in 623 BC to Nepalese king Shudodana and queen Mahamaya of the Shakya clan. Siddhartha and most other Gnostica leaders were born into the Kshatriya caste, consisting mainly of rulers, warriors, and landowners. The Shakya clan started to challenge the supremacy of the Brahmins, who upheld Vedic traditions and had a near total monopoly on religion throughout Madhya Desha. In modern day Nepal, the Chetri ethnicity are regarded as the heirs of the ancient Kshatriyas while the Taro tribe claimed to be the direct descendants of the Shakyas. Siddhartha had a wife named Yashodara and a son named Rahula. At the age of 29, Siddhartha went out of the protected palace grounds and saw four sides. A very old man, a leper, a corpse, and an ascetic. That filled him with a sense of urgency to find out what lay at the root of human suffering. Thus, he renounced his courtly life, abandoned his royal abode, and lived an austere life in the forest with the foremost yogis of his time. 
he soon earned the sobriquet of Shakyamuni. He traveled to Bihar and in a village known as Bodhgaya, he sat and meditated for seven weeks beneath a Bodhi tree. After defeating the forces of the demon Mara, he finally became the Buddha, meaning the Awakened. He relocated to Uttar Pradesh, gave his first sermon in the deer park of Sarnath, and spent most of the next 45 years with his monastic community in Shravasti, where his patrons had built two monasteries. The Buddha died at the age of 80 in Kushinagar. The year zero in the Buddhist calendar corresponds to 543 BCE, the year when the Buddha passed away. For instance, the Gregorian year 2024 is the Buddhist year 2567. The first Buddhist council was held in a cave just after the Buddha's demise. That same year, Bimbisara ascended the throne of Magadha, that is today's Bihar. King Bimbisara and his son Ajata Shatru quickly expanded the Magadha kingdom westward and annexed the whole of Madhya Desha. Though Siddhartha's mother tongue was the Kosala vernacular, that is a Nepalese Indo-Aryan dialect, he also knew Magadhi and Pali, two related languages which were spoken in the Gangetic plain. The Pali language served as a lingua franca throughout Northeast India and was understood in most countries around the Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. From 268 to 232 BC, Ashoka the Great was the emperor of Magadha and ruled over most of the Indian subcontinent. Ashoka is credited with playing an important role in the spread of Buddhism across ancient Asia. In Nepal, the fusion of Shaktism and Tantra gave rise to the worship of wisdom goddesses. To this day, prepubescent girls are selected and revered until the onset of menstruation. They are referred to as Kumari Devi, meaning Princess Goddesses, as they are believed to embody the Divine Feminine Shakti. Women also perform various propitiatory rituals and dances at festivals in Nepal, Sikkim and Bihar. Another important tradition in this region of the Indian subcontinent is that of ritual bells the largest of which can be admired in Nepal. Several sacred places, namely Badrinath Temple, Rishikesh Fortress and Mindrali Monastery are famous pilgrimage sites in Uttarakhand. Bodhanath Temple, Swayambhu Temple and Yatapola Temple were built in Nepal. The Tathagata statue, Rabdense Castle and Tashidim Monastery are located in Sikkim. The Angolimala Pyramid and Mahamonkal statue are situated in Uttar Pradesh. The Mahabodhi Temple, Vulture Peak Altar, Kesariya Pyramid and Nalanda Buddhist University are found in Bihar.